video we're going to demonstrate on how to set up uh, price embedded barcodes on Clover and we're going to use this example here actually there's two of them in there and while I'm not really familiar with this particular embed um, so this one is definitely uh, price embedded and not weight embedded and you can tell because the total price for this weigh-in is uh, 1351 and you can see that 1351 is encoded right there in the barcode. And so therefore this is a price embedded barcode, but it can work on Clover. And I'm gonna demonstrate how. So first, let me just zoom in a little bit to Clover. Okay, and so we're going to start by having this app, variable price barcode parser. And so when you install the app, it's going to basically say that the configuration is either complete or incomplete. If your SAS configuration is incomplete, it'll tell you the set of instructions that you need to do. Uh, mine's already set up, but let me show you. So we would go to settings and click on accessibility. And then we just need to turn on variable price barcode parser in accessibility. And that's all the configuration there is. And then there's just the setup of the item itself, right? So. Let's take a look at this uh, extra large uh, golf shrimp. And I'm gonna go ahead and open my inventory app and I'm gonna assume that I don't have this item, but let me first check that we're not using this number anywhere. So I'm gonna search by putting in the number, which is 210002. And you can see that it's literally like the first six digits if you skip that zero. And that outside zero doesn't get scanned, so we do skip it. And I'm just going to search for uh, 210002. And in fact, I already have an item that's attached to it, but we'll go ahead and change the name to match this label here. Um, and so this is going to say EX, oh, like this EX large. And then we're going to make this item variable instead of per unit. And that's going to be the number that we're going to use. And you can see that it's in the barcode, right? Two, one, three zeros and a two. Two, one, three zeros and a two goes in the product code. And that's it. So we have this item. Um, and now we just simply go to register app and we can go ahead and just save this order and start a new one. And I'm just going to go ahead and scan this barcode here. and. You can see that it gets picked up uh, as extra large golf shrimp with 1351 uh, being the total price 1351 so that matches um, I'm just curious what this barcode is uh, yeah I don't know how why you guys think that this is a price embedded barcode because it really isn't because the total price on it is 1318 and that's nowhere near that sequence of digits in fact, this is a weight embedded barcode because um, 103 is the net weight and 103 is right there in the barcode, but then not a good barcode because it doesn't have enough digits to help us identify the product code like this one does. So this one will work. Uh, that one will work and I've demonstrated how that does work right there. Thank you.